It's high noon. Draw! Oh yeah? This represents no problem whatsoever. This should be easy. Ricky can win by himself. I really like how high. I agree. Holy, holy, keep on rolling. With this, my true power. That's all. This is one power. Ricky. Get up on. Very cool. Represents no problem whatsoever. This should be easy. Ricky can win by himself. Come Witness my true power. Double the king. Double win. Prepare for a chain attack. The ether is flowing through me. Ready when you are. Saw it coming. The aura. Oh, I'm gonna go all out. Double win. Roaring. Manifest yourself! Cross power! Oh, witness my true power! No restraint! On guard! Fiora! Alrighty! Ricky! Leave it to hero point! Ricky full of one more! Acknowledge! Prepare yourself! Blind blast! Good! Just as I envisioned! Ricky having luck! Bravo! A bravo! Yahoo! Ah! 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 Victory! We've definitely gotten stronger! Victory to Ricky! Summon Flare! Roaring Thunder! Your fighting spirit is mine! Focus your attacks! Okie dokie! I am! No matter! Roaring Thunder! Double Blade! Clear Break! Double Wind! Yeah! 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 Double Wind! Yeah!
Nice and quickly. This could be easy. Oh, no escaping! Ah! 
Bionis and Mechonis. Oh, it's so different seeing them from this kind of perspective. We cannot see it from here, but our people are still fighting up there. It's difficult to believe that two such huge things ever fought each other. I wonder how the Machina felt at the time. Must have been horrible. Scary, too. Fear robs us of reason. Out of fear, we commit terrible atrocities, and call them acts of self-preservation. Fear gives rise to more fear. A never-ending circle of hatred. Perhaps that circle can be broken. Fear. It must be what's driving this. What's made Egil act this way. Oh.
We're inside the Mechonis. Just how I imagined it. It's all totally mechanical. It ain't gonna be easy getting up this thing. Egil is at the top. What's up, Shulk? Look, it's a switch to activate a lift. If we can get it to work, it should take us up. Ricky want to ride lift? We can't. There's no power going to it. Boring! What do we do? Well, if we could find the main power supply... OK, people, let's get looking. Yeah. If we can connect the power to the switch, we should be able to use the lift. Everybody, 
down. Anyone know where we are? Other than high up? Maybe somewhere around the thigh? The thigh? You mean we ain't even halfway there yet? Stop moaning about it. Look, we can make camp over there. Let's rest for a while.
Fiora, are you sure you're feeling okay? I feel a bit like... I haven't got used to this body yet. But please, whatever you do, don't tell Shulk about it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dunban. Don't worry about it. Back when my arm was injured, it was you who took care of me. I'd almost forgotten. It seems so long ago now. Thanks, Ryan. Doing a spot of maintenance? Yeah. The sighting's been a bit off lately. You know, Mikko let us have some new parts. I could make you a new rifle if you want. Thanks. But I... I want to keep using this one for now. Shulk, get a clue, man. It's more than just a weapon to her. She can't just throw it away and get a new one. Yeah. I suppose so. <laughs> if she let anything happen to it, I bet she'd get a whack from old Atharon. <laughs> Doesn't my man ever rest? Not a chance. The lives of everyone in the colony rely on the defense force. Our readiness and our will to keep on fighting. We never know when the Mekon will strike next. No. But I won't let anyone else die. men in Fortress 3 alone. Listen to me. Nobody knew that so many Mekon would come. More people would have died if it wasn't for you. It's not about reducing casualties. We lost 30 men. And we've lost the Fortress. Those men died for nothing. Would their deaths have meaning if we'd won? Yes. At least they would have died for something. This is the end now. It's either the Mekon or us. I don't care if I'm the last man standing. I'll take them down! Hey, Ryan. What is it? Do you want to beat the Mekon? Of course. What are you asking that for? At any cost? Even if it means giving your own life? Giving my own life? No way. I can't do anything if I'm dead. I'm gonna take down the Mekon and survive. And there's no way I'm gonna lose Shulk, Fiora or you along the way. We're all going to win this and get out alive. If only we all thought like you. What do you mean? It's charming. What? We should get moving. We don't have time to hang around. Ryan, did you rest well? Yeah. I feel great! It looks like we're about to re-enter the Mekonis. 
Brace yourselves. Got it. You okay? Oh, it's nothing. Just my imagination.
one! Let's go! Let me at him. Sidekicks, try hard. Let's focus our efforts. I'm on it. Backslash! Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. So, we can definitely do this! Are you okay? She looks very tired. Should she not get some rest? Oh, thank you. But really, I'm okay. No. We'll find a safe place to rest. We've hardly stopped since we left the village. Ricky tired too? Ricky tummy rumble? I'm with you. <sighs> Time to park our... Get down! Oh! A mech on assault! Can anyone see them? Another vision! Nice one, Shulk! No, it wasn't. Shulk? You did well to evade me. Just what you'd expect from he who wields the Monado. That voice? It's a faced mech -on. Is there someone inside? What do we do, Shulk? We fight. But don't kill him. Thought you might say that. I'm afraid you must be exterminated. 
I see it. Time. Oh. My turn. Oh. Hey, 
Not so fast. Okay, my turn. <laughs> How do you like that? How's <laughs> that? Joke. <laughs> That's it. Everyone. <laughs> Shala. Gado, it's you, isn't it? Please answer me. Let me see you. Gado, I knew you were alive. Gado, is that Shala's boyfriend? The destruction of the Monado. That is the will of Lord Egil. Gado? What do you mean, Lord? What's Egil done to you? What's wrong, Gado? Why would you say that? Speak to me, Gado! This world is in disarray. I must eliminate the cause of this disorder and restore the world to its original form. That is my duty. Nay, the will of the world. Now, the time has come. The time to restore order. Gado, stop! Gado. Shala! Lady Maynev, it is not far off now, a world in which there is no need for fear. The hour draws near. Our will shall soon be done. First, there is the matter of the Monado. Our victory can only be assured if we destroy the Monado before it's too late. I sense your existence. I know you are alive. Zanza, the hour is upon us. Your time has come. You have acquired the ability to glimpse the future. The ability to understand the law of causality, as decided by a higher power. A higher power? Like the Bionis? Why do you desire to change the future? Why do you wish to act against their will? I do just as anyone would do. It is natural to want to change an unhappy future. If that is their will, then I choose to fight. If that is what you wish, Shulk, then you must find your Monado. My Monado? Precisely. The one true Monado. You can't do that, because you aren't here, not anymore. <gasps> uh. Uh. 
Is... Is everyone okay? Yeah. That was a close one. I mean, how on Bionis did we survive that? We seem all right. I don't know. It could be that we were just lucky, but I'm sure there must be more to it than that. You were protected by the power of Lady Maynith. Who's there? A Machina. Are you... Vanea? Vanea? Does that mean you're... Mikol's daughter? I am glad you are safe, Lady Maynath. Lady Maynath? That face was sent to destroy you. I am truly happy you are all right. You're lying. Gado would never try and hurt us. Sadly, his home's memories no longer remain. The current faces are nothing more than weapons, designed to annihilate all life on Bionis. It can't be. Faces are created by directly integrating the brainstem and metabolic organs of Homs into Mekon. Memories and emotion are nothing but a hindrance to an effective weapon. However, the early faces were experimental. Many retained memories from their former lives. This prevented them from executing their missions effectively. More recent faces have had all memories of their previous lives completely erased. Is that because of me? No, it is not your fault. Mumkar seems the more likely candidate. His attachment to us was too strong. You could say it caused his destruction. That sword one and all. You are correct. No, it's not true. Oh, my Gaddo. Sharla? Explain it to me. I mean, why does Egil want to make us into Mekon? What's the reason for all this? In order to counter the Monado. I knew it. The Monado is ineffective against the Hyentia, the Homs, against all races of Bionis. Egil suffered a bitter defeat in the battle one year ago. After that, he theorized that he could counter the Monado by integrating organic life from Bionis. Of course. Initially, the Monado couldn't take a Homs life. It can now, though. It could not harm those who share the blood of Zanza. That was its sole weakness. But Zanza lifted that constraint. Those who share the blood of Zanza? Who is that giant? The progenitor of the Homs. Him? And once the friend of my brother, Egil, before they became sworn enemies. <sighs> it was Zanza who devastated Maconis. What? latest anti-mechon weapons, designed by Lorothea and the Ministry of Research. What a glorious sight. The coming together of all the peoples of Bionis. Yes, sir. This is how it should always have been. Then perhaps Father would not. Your Highness. We are fortunate that Dixon informed us of the enemy's new weapon. Our defenses are ready. Today, we start our campaign against Galahad Fortress. Just beyond the fortress lies the Imperial capital of Mekonis. This is a battle to determine not just our own fates, but the future of all life on Bionis. We fight for future prosperity and the glory and honor of all. Troops, advance!
Are you saying that Zanza is to blame for Makonis' devastation? It's Zanza's sword that I'm using. Does this mean we're enemies? And if so, why are you... Shulk, calm down. Sorry, I... I will take you to the Makonis capital, Agniritha. Is that your plan? Lead us straight to the gates of our enemy? Deliver us into Egil's hands? It will be quicker to show you than to explain. Then you will understand the history of Makonis, and the battle between the two titans. Up ahead is a lift that leads to the central factory, within the chest of the Makonis. The capital, Agniratha, lies just beyond there. <laughs>